That's right. It's me. Alive and in one piece. <laughs> hey. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I missed you a lot. That whole week without you, with me killing tons of people out of rage and overworking my men. The only thing that kept me going was the thought of meeting you when all of this is over. And it's over now, finally. Yeah, the past few days were rough. I was worried about you. I know you're okay. I'm grateful for that, but it was just hard for me. Not knowing if you're fine every second, it was almost intolerable. What did I miss about you? Everything. Every inch of you. Your eyes. Your scent. And your hair, and the way you squirm when I look into your eyes, the way you get nervous when I come closer to you, but also get excited about how good I'm going to make you feel the way you kiss me. What is it? Oh, that, it's nothing. Don't worry. Come here. I told you it's nothing. Take off my shirt. <laughs> you finally realize you can't resist me, huh? Fine, I'll take it off. <sighs> I told you it's nothing. It doesn't even hurt anymore. Yes. It's a gunshot wound. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm here with you now. But I'm not. I'm alive. Nothing has happened to me. I'm fine. Trust me. <sighs> well, I can be dead right now, too. Like, there could be a sniper right outside that window just waiting to put a hole in my heart. You never know. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop joking. I'll be careful next time, I promise. All right, now come here. Mm. Mm. I'm so glad I lived to taste these lips. Mm. Mm. Ah. Just when I was about to finally consummate our marriage. Yes, Bruno, I know we have to leave. We'll be downstairs in 20 minutes. No, he would deeply regret it if he knew that he just interrupted a family tradition. Fine, I'll behave. We can continue this when we reach home. <coughs> Meet me downstairs. Ah, finally back home. I'm so glad you're here again. Yes, I do have something planned for today. You've been through a lot these past few days, so today is just going to be about you and me. No business, no killing people, no Russian mafia shit. Just us. Now that I think about it, I've never really given you an official tour of our mansion. Come on, I'll show you around. This is the library. It's about two floors. There's an entrance door on the second floor as well. Next up is the garden. There's a pool where I usually swim in the morning when I don't feel like working out. This is the gym. If you can't find me anywhere else in the house, I'll probably be here. This is exclusively our wing. No one will enter this wing. 
the one on the left is my brother Leo's wing. He was supposed to shift here last week, but change of plans, and he'll be joining us next week. You've already seen the kitchen and the living room and our bedroom, of course, so that's it. You want to take a walk in the garden? Sure. Take my hand. You're staring again. Just say that you missed me. It's not that hard. Hmm? You've never seen this side of me. Honestly, before I met you, I didn't even know this side of me existed. You're changing me. You're making me feel. No, that's not good. That's not at all good. I'm a mafia boss. I cannot feel. I'm not supposed to. The only thing I'm supposed to feel is anger toward my enemies and the sense of loyalty to my men and my father. Uh, I remember I said I love you before you left for New York. I was scared of losing you. I was so sure that either of us was going to get killed. I knew if I wouldn't say it that day, I might never get the chance to say it to you. Yeah, you didn't, and you don't have to. I know it's impossible to fall in love with someone like me in just a few days. It's totally fine if you don't want to say it back. I am supposed to protect you. That sense of protectiveness for you, I never realized when it turned into love. Hell, until a few days ago, I didn't even know what love is. What are you doing to me? You're driving me crazy. You're making me feel things that I haven't even learned to feel. <sighs> Feelings do make me weak. All this time while fighting the Russians and plotting every attack, all I could think about was you. If you were safe, if you were fine, had something happened to you, that's all I could think about. You want to be my strength, not my weakness. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to control my feelings. I'm scared that I'll get so obsessed that I might scare you away one day. You're sure we can figure it out? I don't know what... <sighs> okay, okay, I'll stop my ranting. No, oh, Leo, he's fine. He's a little shook about the incident in the old bar, but he'll get over it. He's dealing with it in his own way, but it's good that he was there when the attack took place. He needed an experience of what a real fight looks like. I know he might have gotten traumatized because of it, but that's what gives him a motive to join the gang. I've got no problem with it. He's a big boy. He can deal with it himself now. No, that's not why he hasn't shifted yet to our home. He refused to shift here just because I told him that if he wants to live here, he can't bring girls home. I won't tolerate any nuisance around you. Yeah, he's sulking. He's getting as much as he can before he shifts here. He did some tantrums about it. Made some decisions that pissed me off. So I brought him back on track. You don't have to worry about that. I'll handle him. What you really have to worry about is how you're going to escape from me. I have to take that. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll be back in a flash. Bruno, I told you not to call me today. Can't you just handle everything on your own for one fucking day? What is it? It's Bruno. 
my father. Someone shot him. He's dead. <laughs> 